All right, and welcome back, folks. I'm the voice of Dog. Welcome back to Jenny LeClue. We have a card. And we have a big door. Let's open that door. Here goes nothing. Hope this works. It would suck if it didn't work. Welcome back, S32. Access level Z Alpha granted. Disarming blast door 13A. For your safety, please stand clear. Paused. She was finally here. Could it be true? Was her father really on the other side of this door? The man she'd lost forever. She would have given anything to bring him back. What would she say to him? How would she feel when she saw him? Of all the puzzles she'd solved, every obstacle she'd climbed, and every leap of faith she'd made, this was the scariest moment of all. Mom should be here. She needed her. She needed someone. Maybe even Susie. Susie. I'm not going to solve anything by just standing here. Arthurton had slowly revealed its secrets to Jenny, and now she faced the final chapter. Gathering her courage. She took a deep breath. This is it, Jenny. And stepped into the darkness once more. echoed in the darkness. dead end of course he's not here just another machine <laughs> Arthurton a small town seemingly like any other nestled in a valley between two mountains lined by lustrous forests and perched on the edge of a pristine lake yes Arthurton had it all a main street with shops and a place to sip coffee. Schools, a college, a church, and a police station. The kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. But you won't find it anymore. For Arthurton is now... The town that disappeared. Where once stood a city bustling with life, now lies an empty crater. How could a town suddenly and completely vanish from the face of the earth? And if it could happen to Arthurton, could it happen to your town too? Scientists are baffled. Church attendance is at a record high. <laughs> is this a sign of the end of days? Tonight we attempt to answer the question, what happened to Arthurton? Huh? 
The Enigma Report investigation starts now. Jenny stared at the screen, astonished. Arthurton disappeared? It didn't make any sense. But of all the strange things she'd seen, one stood out more than the others. There was something at the end of the tape. What's this? Dad? Oh no! We got an achievement called This Changes Everything. I better get out of here before I'm crushed to death. Okay, fine. Oh no! Moment of truth. into a corner with nowhere to run nowhere to hide was this the end for Jenny LeClue Jenny choked back her tears. She had lost count of the number of times she'd almost died today, and it was starting to take its toll. Let's get out of here before he wakes up! No, wait! Keith, this could be the man who killed your father. We should really go. This could be our only chance to find out who he is. Don't you want to know? It doesn't matter. What? Look! No! <laughs>
know who said what. Let's go already. Our three intrepid adventurers made their escape across the graveyard on the far side of town. Behind the twin peaks of Arthurton, the sun began to rise. <laughs> but this night had not yet ended. Beneath them, the ground shook and grumbled. Deep in the bowels of Arthurton, something stirred. <sighs> okay, so we're getting further in the game now, and I think maybe it's time to say my theory. Um, I think that quantum tunneling thing is actually having some effect here. I think that guy Jane has the thrilling story of the glimmer. Adventure. She told Susie and Keith about Professor Zaza and his experiments. The truth behind the tragic accident in the mines. And how she discovered that her father was alive. But she left out one critical detail. The town that disappeared. How would they react to such an unfathomable revelation? Would they even believe her? She wasn't sure she believed it herself. What an incredible adventure! Although... I think the greatest discovery today has been our friendship. You never stop, do you? All these trials have really brought us together. And now that you and Keith are friends again, we can form our very own mystery solving club. <laughs> it's just a shame we didn't unmask the man in black. So what's our next step, fearless leader? There's something about this case that still doesn't add up. I need to find my mom. Before the cops do. But she could be anywhere. No, she's gone to Widow's Drop. Where? Widow's Drop. But I have no idea where that is. It's certainly not on any map I've seen. That's because it's not a place. What? Yeah. It's a plant. My dad has had a... Uh, he grew one in his greenhouse. He had to separate it from all the other plants. They all started to shrivel up. Have you ever felt a flash of pure inspiration? The sudden feeling of everything falling into place. It's the moment a great detective lives for. Keith, what day do you take out the trash? What? What day does the garbage man come? Uh, oh, uh, um, Friday? Why? Of course! It was right there the whole time! Jenny! I know where my mom is! Jenny! And I know who killed Dean Strasberry. Really? Jenny! Look out! Jenny! Watch out! <laughs> we survived! Yeah! We made it! I have to go back! Go back? But we just got out! A little birdie told me I'd find three unruly kids out after curfew. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Damn. Stealing, breaking and entering, destruction of property. You're all in a heap of trouble. Jenny, can't say I'm surprised to find you here. But Keith, Susie, I expected more from you. Sheriff, this is Station. Are you there? Go ahead, Station. Susie, Keith, I need you to create a distraction. What? There's no time to explain. Where are you going? You'll just have to trust me. Okay. No. Susie, please. No, not unless you say it. Say what? After everything we've been through, you know it's true. What are you talking about? Now is hardly the time for this. 
You told me to stand up for myself, so that's what I'm doing. Hold on a second. Enough chatter. Get your sorry butts over here now! We depend on each other. Admit it, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. It's not a big deal. Just say it. This is your last warning. I am not going to tell you again. What are you going to do? Shoot us? Of all the challenges our tiny hero had faced, this was perhaps her toughest. You aren't alone, Jenny LeClue. You don't need to pretend anymore. As hard as it was to say it, Jenny knew deep in her heart it was true. Fine. Susie Glatz, you are my friend. Thank you, friend. Now, let's get you out of here. Yeah, I've got him. Safe and sound. I'm bringing him in now. What the? Yeah! Fuck the cops! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. LeClue. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Where did she go? Excellent. He's very slowly getting away. Really? We're really going back in here? Oh, no way. The plant. No way! was having the strangest dreams. What's wrong? I almost didn't make it. But you did. Now, we've got a lot of work to do. you it was really quite simple once i realized mr strasbury knew he was going to die what proves the dean knew he was going to die He kept moving his things around. What about the trash? I don't get it. 
this is kind of eluding me right the moment. But I think one of them is going to be his changing schedule. Maybe the stopped watch? Let's see if this works. This is for the first time I'm pretty unsure of this. The Dean died on Thursday at 3.57 p.m. precisely. In his planner, I noted that he had canceled his meetings on Friday and rearranged a lunch date with Keith. Yeah. At the time, this didn't strike me as unusual. Once I considered the possibility that Mr. Strasbury knew he was going to die on Thursday, everything started to fall into place. But consider this. If someone knew they were going to die, wouldn't they do everything in their power to escape their fate? And yet, the Dean didn't. There was only one explanation. He staged his own death. What proves the Dean staged his own death? Gardener. It's no secret that the Dean is an avid gardener. But some people might not know he authored a book about exotic plants and their natural remedies. In the university lab, I found a microscope that had been recently used. The remnants of a strange green liquid undulated on the slide. One of the first things we saw I in the guess, game. The very same liquid Mom just injected into the Dean's neck. You knew how you were going to die, Mr. Strasbury. Poison. You knew because you made it yourself from one of your plants. A poison that you had an antidote for. That would be the method, but you couldn't work alone. You needed an accomplice. Someone to revive you when the time was right. What proves Mom and the Dean were working together? Well, something about her schedule. One of these is it. In the basement of my house, on my dad's old dusty desk, I found a recently used vial. Mm -hmm. The residue was purple, the same color as the marks on the Dean's neck. In the jail, Mom knew she was running out of time. So she entrusted CJ to finish what she had started. To revive the Dean from his deathly slumber. You plotted together to stage Mr. Strasbury's death. It was a simple scheme. Poison him with the plant, then return after the funeral to revive him. You had intended the death to appear natural, but not everything went according to plan. The Ring. The electrocution. After the poison was administered, the Dean intended to give Mom his ring. But he accidentally dropped it, and he got stuck in the electrified track of the ladder. When he bent down to retrieve it, he was he electrocuted, got electrocuted and thrown from the balcony. That should have killed him. Getting caught hadn't been part of the plan. <laughs> Quite remarkable, Jenny. And you worked out all that by yourself? Just now, yes. Yes, that's how you did it. But the real question is why? Why? Well, that's all a bit more complicated, I'm afraid. 
It was a rhetorical question, Mr. Strasbury. I know why you're working together. But first, I have to tell you about aliens. <laughs> Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going off the rails now. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, no, he's That's into incredible it. incredible adventure this turned out to be. Jenny's growing up and discovering her full potential. And to think, I did it all without anybody dying. Nah. <laughs> Hello? Richard! Oh, what do you think of the new scenes? Aren't they wonderful? I beg your pardon? Uh-oh. Trick you? Certainly not. I didn't trick you. You thought Don't everyone you was dead. It all works out perfectly this way. I can already picture where the next book will start. You're not serious. But... I didn't promise anything. But there must be another way. D just give me more time. Cancelled. What? R Richard, please. Richard? Hello? Hello? It's no good. They won't publish it unless someone dies. But I can't do it. I just can't. Come on, Arthur. Jenny's whole world hangs in the balance. Decades of work. It can't all end now. Oh, I have to. It's like Jenny's mom always says. A great detective knows the right decision is often the hardest to make. And I am a great author of detective stories. But... I can't pick. What should I do, Rufus? Shrug. Brilliant. Yes. You're always right, old friend. I'll let fate decide. Here goes. Oh, shit. What do you think, chat? Yeah, I, I, I'm looking for the editor, for a sign of the editor, but I can't move anywhere. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking go big. Like, really end the series. <laughs> I kind of want to pick Jenny. I, I'm leaning towards Jenny. What do you guys think? I kind of want to see what happens. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Fate has spoken, but is she certain? Once the choice is made, there's no turning back. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure. No, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We can only kill one. Oh, this is exciting. This feels like the first real big choice in the game. I'm hitting the button. I'm gonna do it. On 30 minutes of the recording, exactly, I hit the button. The final decision. 
Wait, <coughs> Jenny wasn't an option? Yes, it was. Oh, Rufus, I think I need to lie down. You did it. You circled it. You put it down. You put it on the desk. <clears throat> As I was saying... What was that? No more interruptions. The tremors were getting more violent and more frequent. Please, I'm in the middle of my astonishing denouement. Everyone in town thinks CJ is crazy. A madman spouting wild theories about aliens and hidden forces at work in Arthurton. But all the strange phenomena he's seen are real. And the culprits are men, not monsters. What do I know about Arthurton's secret history? The Spheres. And the Council of Three. Arthurton is built on top of some kind of energy source. Something special. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Arthurton's resource. And his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. One of the experiments went tragically wrong and caused the collapse of the quartz mines. They covered it up and blamed the miners. And yet the experiments didn't stop. Instead, they built an even bigger facility. Years after the accident in the mines, an even greater tragedy struck Arthurton. Only this time, the townspeople didn't know. I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. The rest of the world think we disappeared. At first, I thought I was solving two separate mysteries. But then it hit me like a ton of used books. The two were inextricably linked. And that's how I know your motive for staging the Dean's death. Why did Mom and Dean Strasberry stage the Dean's death? How about these two? Dad wasn't working for the university. He was working on Zazer's machines. All under the watchful eye of the Council of Three. The Dean is part of the Council of Three. Yeah. At least he works for them. That I kind of figured. Through her own investigation, Mom concluded that Dad had died under suspicious circumstances. She confronted the Dean. Racked with guilt, he confessed and begged for her forgiveness. Instead of letting anger cloud her judgment, Mom saw an opportunity. And together, you concocted a plan to bring down the organization from the inside. Oh, what a brilliant mind you have, Jenny LeClue. Julie, I believe you underestimated this girl. You could have gotten yourself killed. Yes. But I didn't. But what if you had? I'm not a kid anymore. I have to make my own choices. A flower cannot blossom without light. Jenny had risked everything to save her mom. I... I'm sorry, Jenny. <laughs> I reject apology. All right, fine. Come on. It's okay, Mom. You were running out of time to save Mr. Strasbury. I was trying to protect you. I know. <sighs> I should have trusted you. But you were wrong. I just apologized. No, not about that. Everyone presumed Dad died in the lab explosion. So did I, until today. But then, I started finding secret messages all over town. 
They led me to a secret room under the graveyard. And there, on a small television, I saw him. Henry? Dad is alive! But he's trapped on the other side, and he's been trying to contact us this whole time. He made it back? Then the experiment worked! What? Exactly! But if he made it back, that means... We can all get back! We need to get to the machine, right away. No! First, we need to find Professor Zazer. Oh jeez, we're going back through the whole game here. What's behind door number one? And then Jenny the <laughs> was gone. <laughs> Jenny the clue. <laughs> to be could we to be continued? <laughs> Wait, this is episodic? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. So I guess I should I guess I should uh dump my thoughts here. Now is the time to dump my thoughts. It felt pretty linear. That was my one big complaint, is that as how linear it was. But they were pushing you towards a big kind of thing. I don't regret having played it at all. This was incredibly charming and fun. The ending could use a bit of work. Or a second game entirely. Extra special thanks, Tilly. I will... Absolutely play the second part of this game. Yeah, what ending? You're, you're not you're not wrong. What ending? The game stopped in the middle. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. That was a big thend. There's a ton of unanswered questions about the Council of Three, who's on it besides Dean Strasberry. It seems like we may have to wait for more, folks. I had no idea. I didn't expect this in the slightest. Oh my god, Iggy, thank you for the raid. We are we are here on credits. <laughs> Is it because I picked to kill Jenny? Maybe. Oh man, that all was a rush, a head rush for sure. We were like 
Ah, oh, we were getting... Ah, oh, we were getting so close to something. Picked a demon and went the same way, more or less. Yeah, I, I want to say that my choices didn't really matter. The end. To be continued, folks. Holy shit. Well, all right, I'm conflicted. I'm not unhappy because I do want to see more of this world. I want to see this get continued. Did the levers matter? Yeah, I don't know. Game should definitely state more clearly it's episodic. Yeah, I've never played a game before like this where it ended right before a huge moment of truth. And I, it, it's never happened to me before. Never happened to me before. This is very unique uh, in, in a sense of like, in a weird sense of disappointment, but also hope. The hope is there, folks, because I would want to see more than more than more of this. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! It's not finished, folks. It's not over yet. It's not over. It's not over yet, folks. Ah. Oh. Yeah, like the purpose of the framing device doesn't feel because if you if they killed a character and the game ended, then I would say yes, the framing device did its thing at least until at least at the end, you know. But here it feels more like a cute framing device that doesn't actually affect the gameplay at all, which I guess I'm still okay with because it's kind of adorable and I do appreciate the author's input. But man, man. So it probably goes the same way, doesn't it? It probably happens the same way. And Jenny is dead. Jenny is dead now. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. What a game, folks. I, I must have more. I must have more. Thank you for joining me today, folks. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. I hope we get to see this finish. Because I like to see when games get to finish. Let's find someone to host over to. And... Oh, man. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, man. It doesn't happen like this very often, folks. Only in indie games. You only see this in indie games, folks. <laughs> Wild. Wild and crazy. See you next time.